Legally, there have been aliens in Kenya. No identification cards as proof of citizenship and hence lack of a ticket to access a wide range of rights guaranteed in the supreme law of the land, the constitution. Thursday was the culmination of a long journey after many knocks on many doors. The opening of the state house door seemingly a proverbial equivalent to a tunnel with the light at the end for the Makonde community. In 2013, NTV first highlighted the plight of a stateless tribe in the grip of poverty. Since then, they have been stepping into different offices, including the Minister of Interior, in search of help. In 2014, the community rejected attempts by the government to have them repatriated to Mozambique. The inability to acquire Kenya's national identification documents has been a major source of problems and the stagnation in life. Wengi wao wanataka kujihusisha katika biashara tofauti tofauti, lakini hawawezi fanya hizo biashara. Wengi wao wanataka pia kusafiri wakiwa huru, lakini hawawezi safiri. The ethnic Makonde community were brought in to work on sugar plantations at the defunct Ramisi Sugar Factory. They did not return to their motherland when the factory collapsed over three decades ago and live in the doomed houses in former plantations. They have remained isolated, with many of them turning to palm wine tapping and sell. Forty years since they arrived in Kenya, they have lived in limbo because although Kenyan authorities have not expelled them, they have also not been granted citizenship. Without an ID card, Members of the Makonde have been unable to acquire and own land anywhere in the country. Their life has been a cycle. Children born of a Makonde family have been unable to get birth certificates. And with the current education system, they couldn't register for the KCP examination. Hence, stagnation in acquiring formal knowledge. Without this knowledge, their chances of landing formal jobs and even interacting with the rest of the world were greatly limited. And so farming has been their only source of livelihood. But again, there was a problem. Everything about the Makonde has been informal owing to their statelessness. Their marriage has not been legally binding. The presidential directive gives the community a lot of hope. Enoxicolia, NTV.